the nature of this particular kind of forest is at the heart of the story because that's where the fire came through and it's what the people live in. The title is Living with Fire, People, Nature and History in Stills Creek. So people, nature and history come together at the centre of the story and where they intersect is the story of where the fire went through. The book is a collaboration between myself and Tom, first of all, as the historians, and then the community who contributed all the photos, the stories, much of the history, and the heart and soul of the project, really. We were invited to work with the residents of Steels Creek after the Black Saturday firestorm. Uh, I don't think we would have uh, had the, the courage to come in in the weeks following such a disaster unless we were invited and residents in the valley approached me and said we think that at this moment in our community lives this after this rupture that historians might be able to help us sort of put ourselves back together again help us heal help us understand what has happened something that's often missing is the cultural element and Tom and I really felt strongly that there needed to be some regeneration of cultural assets as well as physical assets. And we both also feel that history plays a really important part of people understanding the places that they live in. And yet good local history is actually hard to find. And my contribution was to bring people together, to bring the artists together, and to help the authors to find the people they needed to talk to. I think they've got a better sense of community they are solving lots of problems that they weren't aware that they had. And it's all for the positive. It's a much happier place. Often disasters bring communities together. They've suffered together and they come in closer to hang on to one another and help one another. And I think that certainly happened here. We often turn to the past to try and work out what are the continuities we can take into the future. And that's what people have done in Steels Creek. History has been part of the fabric of their conversations. My contribution to the book was lots of proofreading, lots of poaching eggs and making cups of coffee, that sort of thing. The whole country, the whole world, responded in an incredible way. Garden clubs from here to wherever sent plants down, trailer loads of them. That sort of thing's very heartwarming. It's a book that I think works on many levels. It's a local history, it's an Australian history, but it's also in many ways a practical guide to how Australians can live with fire. It's spookily relevant to many, many communities in Australia that deal with the risk of fire. So it's both incredibly local and almost universal across Australia. So we're hoping that there will be a wide audience, but our first priority was that everybody in the valley have a copy on their kitchen table.